Hi, I'm here with Brian in front of a 650 gallon custom made wood and glass aquarium. We started building about about two years ago. About two years ago. Mm -hmm. And what gave you the idea to go this size? I had a 125 gallon tank, mm -hmm. and what I wanted to do was get bigger fish. Every mm -hmm. fish, every cool fish, needed a larger tank. Or yep. if you have multiple fish, you have to have more than one. Uh, you know, of the cool type, they have a bigger tank. So I decided to build a big one. Yeah, that's often a big concern with people. They come into my store and they start looking at the fish and they thumb through the book and, and it's, it's very disheartening because a lot of the really cool fish, they just get too big, you know, and uh, nobody wants the tank police after them. And, you know, that's not what you're going to have here, is it? Absolutely not. Everybody gets pretty much along uh, very well. Uh, there's multiple sets of clownfish in here. I mean, you've got a pair of maroon clowns, you've got, um, you know, some... Uh, uh, Pink, pink skunks. Pink, pink skunks. You've and got uh, two snowflake oscillators. Yeah, the two snowflake oscillators you picked up for me. Those are looking real good. And uh, everybody kind of seems to have their own spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all super happy. Yeah. Uh, you just can't get away with that in some of the, some of the smaller tanks. But uh, what I find really interesting is that this is glass. The side is glass. Mm -hmm. And the back is... Plywood. Plywood. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't leak, does it? Of course not. Not a drop <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Uh, tell them a little bit about how you did that. Yeah, so the, the construction of the tank, uh, as Steve said, we've got two glass walls, mm -hmm. and uh, the bottom, the back, and the right side is plywood. So it's double ply, half inch, one inch thick, with a two by four frame, similar to how you build a house wall. Um, and then it's all laminated together and, and covered in epoxy and fiberglass. And then a, uh, another aquarium safe epoxy coating goes over the top. Uh, and then uh, we've got some steel rods uh, through the top here to hold everything together and set the glass in with silicone, fill it up. Yep. It's pretty much like a giant bulkhead around the front here. Right. It, it's just locked and screwed and, and, and bolted down and it, it holds together real nice. And all the filtration is in your basement, correct? Right. Yep. The filtration goes down below. It's very quiet here. There's not a lot of humming. Uh, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great system. I, I really like it. And the lighting is all LEDs, yes. correct? Yes. Yeah, all LEDs. I've got a combination of PAR 38 bulbs um, and the uh, Aqua UFOs. Yep, and they're, they're really producing some pretty good light here. And what's nice is with, with this much space above the canopy, you can have some dark areas here, you have some brighter areas over here, and it all tends to kind of blend together. So um, uh, you can find a different spot for all the different types of corals that you want to have, some of the deeper water stuff, some of the, some of the more highlight requiring things like the aquaporas and the soil pores and all the mining pores and stuff like that and then you can have you know you can put your little sun corals down in here and stuff they really like that the sand bed seems to be very clean um is that due to the big sea cucumbers and stuff like that that you have yeah the sea cucumbers and i've got two uh sand sifting gobies in there yeah it actually looks dirty right now uh, to what it usually does it's yeah. at the end of the day it kind of gets a little bit of the algae on it but it goes away throughout the day and i've got the phosphan reactors downstairs and carbon running so i keep yep. everything pretty clean yep 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 it, it seems to do very well um this little guy he's just he's just digging his little tunnels down there and having a, having a good time isn't he oh, that's he loves to spreading sand everywhere well done a great job with the tank. I've, we've been very happy to help you out here from the Reef Plus and that we had to get over here and see it. Everything seems to be growing very well. I imagine uh, in, in two more years it's just going to be exploding. Why is it that you chose the Reef Plus to build your aquarium, acquire all the equipment and all the livestock and everything else to go inside? Well Steve, uh, I like Reef Plus and uh, the, the stuff you have there Mainly because when I purchase something from me, it doesn't die within two days. Well, that's always a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing. Uh, you have great prices. Uh, they're fair uh, on all your livestock, equipment, your corals. Um, and you have uh, yourself and, and a couple actually nice helpers as well that uh, I thoroughly enjoy talking to. You always have uh, good advice. If I have an issue, I can show you what it is. We'll bring in a picture and you know pretty much exactly what's going on. Um, and you can always get a good resolution. Well, thank you very much, Brian. We're happy to help you out, and uh, we'll continue to give you that same great service and anyone else, for that matter, that happens to stop by the Reef Plus. So uh, we hope to see you again soon, and uh, all of you. Thanks, and have a nice day. I'll bet you can't guess what this is. Well, maybe you could. It's one heck of a giant skimmer. This is the XP8000 Octopus Internal Skimmer. We're down in the basement of the 650 gallon aquarium's home 
looking at is part of the filtration. We won't show you the whole thing, but what we are going to show you is the heart of this system. Um, Why did you choose this skimmer to go with your system there, Brian? Had the great reviews. Um, read a lot about the Octopus uh, brand, and they always have good things to say. Uh, it's reliable, it's well built, and it's not overpriced. It seems to be producing one heck of an amount of skim. Yeah, I mean, it keeps the tank pretty clean. That goes right down in your drain, right? So you don't really have to mess with it? It's all tied into the drain system of the house, goes into the sewer, so yeah, it's it's easy to maintain. Uh, Brian informed me tonight that he'd like me to special order the cleaner that goes into the throat of that skimmer. Uh, how, how does that work exactly? Yeah, so uh, the head cleaner replaces the normal cap on the skimmer and it is a essentially a squeegee that goes on the inside down to the neck over here and just every few minutes or so it rotates around and cleans this gunk in here so you have even less maintenance. Uh, you don't have to deal with uh, taking the head off and cleaning it out. Uh, so. You know, more, more of like a once every two to three month maintenance program. You mean you don't have to put your hand in there and wipe all that out no, like sir. in the sink? No. It, it just kind of takes that thin layer off and kind of dissipates it right into that foam and it, and it kind of lifts right up to the top there, doesn't it? Absolutely. Oh man, that's awesome. I'm going to have to see that for myself. Sure. Well, I'm going to get right on that, Brian. And uh, once again, thank you very much for having me over to take a look at your fine aquarium. And uh, we've been very pleased to help you every step of the way. Thanks, Steve. Yep, thank you, and uh, we'll be talking to you guys soon.